Look at a night party here. Welcome to Sydney Harbour. So a lot of the things that bother you in Los Angeles or New York City or London are not going to bother you once you get on the Sydney Harbour Ferry, right? So a lot of the things you feel guilty about also depend upon where you are. So in America, where abortion is such a hot button issue, right? people are going to feel guilty about having an abortion. But in Australia, the culture wars operated about 10% of the intensity that they do in the United States. So women have an abortion in Australia, and they're not going to be racked by guilt about it. So why, why do so many women in America feel racked by guilt right? over an abortion? Because it's become a hot button issue. It's not a hot button issue in Australia, so women don't feel racked by guilt about having an abortion. It's, this guilt is socially constructed. Right? A normal person, regular person who drives on the Sabbath, has nothing to feel guilty about it. But if you're an Orthodox Jew who's never done it before, then you're going to fear that God's going to strike you down. If you're an Orthodox Jew who's never turned on the light on Shabbat, okay, you're going to fear that God's going to strike you down if you break Jewish law that way. And many of the things that we feel, our deepest wounds, our deepest trauma, our deepest guilt, socially induced. So riding the manly fast ferry. Might get a bit rough here, mate. is just being out of the United States, out of Los Angeles, and my thinking and feeling changes. And there's something about being in nature that restores a proper sense of self. Right? It kind of puts you and your problems into perspective. It takes your breath away, this beauty. Fresh, clean sea air. more profound spiritual experience than going to church or synagogue. Why? Because it puts things into proper perspective. It realigns you with nature. You might recognize that many of the things that you that bother you are contingent, they're socially constructed. Once you recognize the social construction of many of your feelings and fears and dreams and hopes, you can uh, have the possibility of transcending. That's beautiful Sydney Harbour, up in the background. Biblical verse, how great are thy works, O Lord. In Judaism, there's a blessing for everything. So, and one man goes to the Grand Canyon or Sydney Harbour and says, Oh wow. And the Jew, he knows his brachas, knows his blessings, he can say a blessing. Work by God, or you can 
it was probably socially constructed. You know, almost nothing that we think do we come up with on our own. We take it from other people. And it's reinforced by those around us. So we know that in Orthodox Judaism, if you depart from the community, you're much less likely to observe Torah. Like, like during the pandemic, people stopped going to synagogue, they started dropping a lot of their automatic Jewish observance, and they never picked it up. Many people have gotten out of the habit of going to church, and had a lot of habits during the pandemic. Sydney, I strongly recommend the, uh, the Manly Ferry. So it's on the north side of Sydney. If you're going to drive this, it'd take about 30 minutes. And that's uh, the CBD, that's the Central Business District you're looking at right now. Bye-bye. 